Hello everyone, I'm Port Scientist 7 and welcome to another week of Destiny 2 on Polycore Media. We're, so, we're going to be covering Path of the Splicer 3, because we are now on week 3 of Destiny 2. And if anyone played the Vaulted Glass raid this past weekend, that was a pretty tough raid on contest mode. Yes, I did not beat it on the first 24 hours, one or two, came close, but was way too late at night, I had work in the morning, so. Let's go all um, on our way to the helm and head on to the Splicer server. Uh, so, what kind of story developments will we have this week? The main purpose of these videos is just kind of talk about the, the, it's just the weekly class. And you know, I'm going to talk about it and I'm going to let you guys listen to the game audio. All right, so let's head over here. I greet you in the light, Guardian. I was given a message about Lakshmi too. She of the future war cult. Osiris wishes that she gains full access to the Vex data you gather. I agreed. I hope my cooperation will show her we are not like the old houses. I have heard the transmission she records for the city's people. And I know she is skeptical of the Elixni. I hope to make trust with her. to look upon tomorrow. This is dangerous, forbidden by my people. But if it will show her we walk together in peace, I will give her all that she asks. After studying the data you brought, I have found a new path for you to walk. The Vex gather their forces, but we can break through their security. Enter their realm, then use your light. Consecrate their network. Purify it. The Vex will try to stop you, but you are not one who can be stopped. All right, that is pretty good. All right. So, pick up your quest, since I already gathered the ether that I needed to, it auto-completed the first step for me. Alright, so let's see what we got. Uh, go into the new override on the Tangled Shore, that's what we gotta do first, people. So, first quest step, Tangled Shore um, override, so it's gonna be right there in the Helm. Click on it and get ready to go in and matchmate. Of course you can do it with your friends so you know the deal guys build a tower get into the what's it called i guess the domain the vex domain realm and defeat the next override boss so go ahead and start up the override mission with whoever you're playing with and that is it then well you know what comes next jumping in the hole Their voices were quite muffled, actually, when I played that, too. Someone died. Alright, so make your way, like usual, through the Vex Domain to get to the boss room. Each week that goes by, that gets easier and easier, doesn't it? Alright. Giant Hydra. So, here's a quick skip. And there we go. Once you beat the boss, you want to go on over here. Such as? 
contact with the darkness, lest you risk infestation. Just because you can't see the shears, Osiris, doesn't mean I'm not pruning dead branches. Well, that's kind of creepy. All right, click up, pick up the conflict um, chest. Time to go back to the splice server. All right, now we're back at the splicer. Oh, actually, we should say back at the helm, and then we go over to the splice server this way. All right. There's something on the radar. Oh, look at that. We got another message. Wow. She really does not like the elixir. Alright. Once you listen to her, you can... Oh, you don't actually have to, but I did. Alright. Path of the Splice of Three. So this is the next quest step. You get this... Uh, grab this right here, and you will be... What's it called? You'll have access to the ex, uh, ex, expunge, expunge mission, which is located on the Tangled Shore. So the expunge mission is actually quite interesting. It's kind of like going into the Vex of Maine. It's a world between worlds. And actually, if you die there, you die for real. I mean, but you know, this is a game, so we don't actually die there. So. Go to your destination menu, head over, and find it on the directory. It's right there. And you can just match make right off the screen. You don't have to travel anywhere. Expunge Labyrinth. Now, there is a challenge relating to this. It says beat it under 10 minutes. I recommend, um, actually, I recommend do that another time. Uh, it's going to be kind of hard to do this at the beginning of the week. All right, I'm gonna give you a quick note. This is really long to do, so we will be doing a quick skip here in a second. But my advice on this is that you're gonna need three little upgrades, which I will be showing you uh, once we get done and through here. Uh, but yeah, make your way through. It's basically, as I said, it's the labyrinth mission. Once you kind of, yeah, I guess fidget your way through this is a little beginning area it actually can be a little confusing i got lost right um past this uh, portion of overhead just wait a minute one more door to go all right i'm going to show you where you're not to get um let me get down to this hallway right here yeah um up in your top right so you'll see here right there there's a little doorway to jump into didn't actually knew that all right so we're good just make your way through the labyrinth eventually 
it's going to take you a while. And once you get through it all, you're going to appear in this area right now. This area is the Bot Arena. Yeah, shooting those little crystals will give you little covers and stuff, and they do um, despawn. Ah, there he is. Giant Minotaur boss. And I can't believe I missed that shot. It's a very tanky boss, too. So once you get his health down to where his invulnerability shield or that comes immune, kill these harpies right here. They will drop that. A little splicer um, data point. Almost fell off the edge right there. Alright, see that platform off the... There's one to the right and one to the left. That's where you need to go. Input your data. And then head down to the grab lift to get back there. Alright, you gotta do this one more time. I can't believe I just missed three shots. Oh, other platform. The sniper's aim in this is actually pretty terrible. <laughs> Alright, once you make this platform jump and input this last data spike, data splice, it's data splice, let's go with that. There you go. His shields are off. Now you gotta repeat this process about three, two times, two to three times, something like that in total. I missed another shot. I'm at the end right now. I'm gonna hit him right there. Three, two. One. There you go. You finish the expungement. Now, the labyrinth itself is much more elaborate and much longer to get through. It took me about, well, as you can see, almost 20 whole minutes. Nice. Alright. There you go. Once you beat the mission, you just have to go and head right back to the helm. So let's head back. Alright. So back at the helm. Just need to uh, head to the splicer servitor. Cuts one of the threads that hold this 
All right, that is it, and that is Path of the Splicer 3, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, I'm going to make a quick recommendation here in a, uh, in a second, but let me put it on the screen. So, Splicer Upgrades. These three right here for that labyrinth, for the expunge mission, I'm going to suggest you need to work in getting these because these help open up other paths and make it easier just like how in the overmind mission you got an easy path through these make it much easier to get through the the labyrinth and that will help you get the 10 minutes down so everybody thank you again for watching today's video i hope you enjoyed it i enjoy making these videos because i enjoy play destiny 2 and i love the weekly lore we're getting so thank you again like and subscribe Hit our Discord link down below, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.